These are the five hidden truths about starting a drone business that no one actually shares. The first hidden truth is that flying a drone is actually a pretty small part of owning a drone business. Securing clients, interpreting the data, delivering the data, and keeping your clients happy is 99% of the actual work. This is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Flying the drone and actually collecting data is a relatively minor part in this entire operation, despite it often being the main focus for many. When it comes to processing and delivering data, which is of course the most important part of your job, it's all about discerning your client's needs and delivering on those expectations. This mostly involves market research, consultations, and actually getting proper feedback from your clients. Most of the time, clients aren't actually interested in the pretty pictures. They wanna know the insights that those pretty pictures offer them. Unfortunately, many drone operators get so caught up in the flying aspect that they forget to focus and actually learn how to properly process data and deliver the results that the client is looking for. The second hidden truth that I wish I would have known is the significance of comprehensive knowledge and continuous learning. And of course, I'm not just talking about how to fly a drone better. It's about mastering the latest tools and knowing how to deliver as much value as possible to your customers. New opportunities are constantly emerging thanks to things like artificial intelligence, different types of sales processes, new and exciting social media platforms, and of course the traditional resources such as books and audiobooks. For example, I recently listened to the entire audiobook of E-Myth Revisited. It provided some really excellent feedback that I was able to incorporate into Blue Falcon Aerial. I've also been following a lot of Alex Hermosi, which is why you guys are seeing so much more YouTube content out of us. The third truth that I wish I would have known is that the drone laws and regulations are incredibly complex. Airspace authorizations, licensing requirements, state and local laws can be very confusing and challenging. Then you also have remote ID coming next month, and there's always a looming DJI ban that may or may not be happening. With all this going on, it's really crucial to make sure you are constantly informed. And remember, ignorance of the law is just not a good excuse. The fourth hidden truth is that starting a drone business requires a significant investment. The drone itself is just one of the many things you're going to need. You also need to make sure you're considering the cost of your software licensing, spare parts, batteries, and possibly setting up an LLC. The drone you choose is also very important, and you need to make sure that that drone can actually fulfill your client's needs. For instance, if your client requires LiDAR, thermal, or multispectral, your Mavic 2 Pro is just not going to cut it. Even in the RGB spectrum, you may need a better drone just to capture the data and the quality that's required. Additionally, you're also going to need to account for your operating costs. For example, maintenance, repairs, transportation, marketing. You also may need professional outsource services such as HR or legal. And remember, a lot of businesses fail because they don't actually have enough capital to sustain themselves while they actually get clients. Most economists recommend at least six months of operating expenses before you even consider opening up a business. The fifth hidden truth I wish I would have known is the value of having a drone networking group of other pilots and operators like yourself. Some hesitate to join groups like this because they don't wanna share information with their competitors. However, I disagree. Thanks to groups like this, I have absolutely gotten partnerships, collaborations, and even referrals for work for our own business. And of course, we love giving back and giving the same opportunities to others in the group. I'm a huge believer in the givers win mentality. These groups are incredibly valuable for collaborating, brainstorming, and just sharing experiences. Now my favorite community is the Dronepreneur Slack group. The Dronepreneur Slack group is extremely supportive and really fosters an encouraging environment. We have pilots from all across the country with a variety of different backgrounds and experiences. We have some that are just getting started, and we also have others who are experts in LiDAR, thermography, and multispectral. If this seems like something you're interested in, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below. If you want to get started on your continuing education, the first thing you should do is check out this video where I teach you how to price your services correctly. See you there.